let's start! And in this video I'm going to tell you how to win a gamble with a Brazilian friend and maybe get some free beers or caipirinhas. <laughs> Giovanna and this is the only in Brazil channel. I created this channel to be the solution if you are planning a trip to Brazil. You don't need to search in hundreds of blogs and channels. In this place you'll find everything to help to plan your trip to Brazil. Local food, tours, uh, where to go, what to do, what to eat, everything. Ah, and if you like local food, tours and history, have a look at the description. I may have a surprise for you. And the last thing before we start, please like the video, subscribe, share with friends. It's a totally free way you can support this channel and it helps a lot. Let's start! And in this video, I'm going to tell you how to win a gamble with a Brazilian friend. Let's go back a little bit in history and I'll explain. Before Brazil became a republic, this was our flag. Yeah, the same green and yellow, quite similar. But nowadays there is a blue circle and some stars in the middle. At that time it was the coat of arms of the other political regime. Not the Republic yet. For many countries, the Independence Day is the date to celebrate. And in Brazil, of course we do. But in Brazil, when we became independent, the new emperor of Brazil was the son of the king of Portugal. So. But when we became a republic, nobody from the royal family was on power anymore. So the republic regime, with presidents and things like this, were a very important day for us. So we became a republic, but we didn't have our final flag yet. So for four days, this was our flag. American friends, what do you think? So after four days, our final flag was finally decided. And now it's how you can get your free beer or caipirinha or whatever you gamble with a friend. So ask your Brazilian friends what does the green and yellow mean in our flag. For sure, probably 95% of the Brazilians will say it represents our forest and our gold. So green for forest and yellow for gold. And it's what 95% of Brazilians are told at school. I was told this story. But about 10 years ago, I was studying to be a great tourist guide. And in my deep studies about history, I found out the truth. And the truth is, green is representing Portugal. And yellow, yellow. Guess. Just guess. No. What else? Yellow, Brazil. What does come to your mind? Yellow, Brazil? No. So, the yellow in our flag is representing Austria. Or more specifically, the Austrian royal family, the Habsburg family. And now probably you are wondering, but why Austria? Portugal you will kind of understand, but Austria? It's because the first emperor of Brazil, when Brazil became independent, so our first emperor, a Portuguese man, was married to an Austrian woman from the Habsburg family. And the blue in our flag, nothing very surprising as the yellow. So the blue, it's, it's related to the, to the sky in the day when Brazil became a republic. And the stars are representing the states. It changed because we have more states now than we had in 1889 when we became a republic and they are adding the stars. Actually, there is a law saying if a new state is created, they have to add a star. And in the white stripe, it's written order and progress. And it's reminding us that with order, we will achieve the progress. Order. Order. Well, we have many great things in Brazil, but order? Well, come to Brazil and decide yourself. Well, that's it for this video. I try to be short and fast, but there is a great history behind all of this. And I love history. So if you have questions, write in the comments, I will reply. Have a wonderful time in Brazil. See you in the next video or in my Instagram, where I daily give tips about Brazil. So follow me, uh, like the video, subscribe, and have a nice time in Brazil. Bye!